how would someone know if alcohol and drug use has become a problem? I, I think that's a really sp for the specific person. Usually um, when you start losing friends um, or acquaintances or family, they start moving away from you. Um, they start mentioning stuff to you around your behaviour. Another way uh, you might find that your usage is becoming problematic for you is how it affects your work life. Uh, if you are going to work coming down, uh, if you are going to work still high. Uh, these sort of things are obviously a sign that your usage is not located in a recreational kind of party weekend space, but is creeping in to your day to day. I, a key thing is how you feel about yourself. Like if you start, you know, feeling regret, shame and guilt after you've been using or drinking or partying, and if that starts to continue. So it's not usually the amount of use. I mean, you know, yes, people can be using every day and then they know it's an issue, but sometimes you don't have to be a data user for it to be an issue for you. Often in the LGBTIQ communities, uh, there can be a feeling of isolation. Um, also, the way that we socialise is can often be wrapped up in drinking um, or using drugs or being a part of a party scene. And this can kind of become so normalised that it's difficult to know, have, has this become um, a problem? And am I, am I able to still socialise and do a range of other activities? Or is this the only way that I hang out with people? If you're worried that your uh, usage of alcohol or drugs might be getting problematic, ask yourself, what were the things that you were really passionate about before that usage began? And are you still passionate about them now? Maybe uh, your values have changed a little bit, or maybe uh, your usage has gone to the point where it's taking up all of that free space that you had to recover or to party. And now you're kind of finding yourself just getting from party to party and working in between to kind of fill those gaps. The idea of having goals around changes that you, you want to put in place around your alcohol and drug use, uh, I think the first thing and the most important thing is to be realistic about the the, the distance between the state that you're in at the moment and the, the goals that you want to reach because sometimes people can be too unrealistic and too idealistic about the kinds of uh, place they want to get. Everything starts to deteriorate around you and it can happen really quickly or it can happen subtly and slowly. So sometimes the key is one, once something starts unravelling, that's maybe when you can step in. So part of the goals is to think ahead and come up with alternatives that you're going to find enjoyable, you know, arrange dinners, movies, going out with friends so that you're, you're, you're replacing what you've, you used to think was pleasurable and enjoyable with other activities that give you satisfaction at the same time.